You can see my screen, right? Thank you, Rafael. Okay, um, so uh, for this session, we are going to look at uh, how we can use AI or LLMs, specifically ChatGPT, in order to predict uh, or uh, extrapolate based on past year's um, data that we have been, or we have. So uh, first, let's see what uh, extrapolation means. And then we're going to see why we are going to use LLM, specifically ChatGPT. And then we're going to have a short demo. Uh, and yeah. so extrapolation means, uh, actually, we use it a lot. So uh, it's a technique used to predict or to forecast the future based on the past by extending a trend uh, that's being observed on the historical data or the past data. So uh, for instance, I think we use it for uh, like uh, determining the number of the population of the Earth. So as you know, uh, the world population is estimated, right? And it's already forecasted even for the future. So these are the techniques that we use. Um, so it's a venture. So it's it helps us to see beyond the range of the existing data that we have. So for instance, for your case, uh, you only have the data for three years, but you're gonna use the data for these three years in order to see what's going to happen for the next two years, right? So that's extrapolation. So it depends on the trend or it depends on the uh, what's happening right now in order to determine what's going to happen in the future. So it's not 100%, uh, it's not always correct, but it's better. Uh, it helps us to make de decisions, it helps us to uh, be prepared, and so on. So, yeah. So, uh, why we use LLMs such as ChatGPT or others uh, for financial forecasting? So, the first and the most thing is just to save time and resources. So, we can use LLMs uh, to do the data analysis, which is uh, time consuming and resource intensive process or uh, thing to do. And the next thing is uh, some, data, some datas are uh, huge and which could lead to uh, being a complex. So with AI or LLMs, we can handle a large amount of data hence ma making the complex financial report easier to understand. And the next thing is um, it helps us to uncover trends or patterns that are not visible easily for the humans. So you, as humans, we might miss some points or some trends or patterns when looking at uh, financial report, but LLMs, uh, can easily identify these uh, things, these patterns or trends, and it, it, it's, it could be a changing point for the company. And the other thing, which is uh, very much interesting, is scenario planning. So we can use LLMs uh, to help us uh, like come up with different uh, forecasts for different scenarios. So let's say we have, uh, we are trying to find out which scenario is better, right? So uh, let's say we are planning to sell stocks at a certain price and others are planning to sell at a certain price and we want to know uh, the forecast for both of them, right? So uh, we can do it by ourselves, but it would take a lot of time and resource, but LLMs or AI can do this easily. So it helps us to be prepared for scenarios or different 
possibilities. And the last one on the list is just to improve decision making. So if we have a good picture of the future or the potential outcomes, uh, then like te technically it will help us, uh, it will help us uh, to make the right decisions or better de decisions by depending on these forecasts. So this is just the intro. Um, are there any questions so far? I am uh, out of the right, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, are there any questions, or should we move move on? Okay. Um, in that I say yes. Um. Okay. So. So we already have uh, worked with ChatGPT. So um, what I'm going to uh, be asking it is, let's see. Um, depending on the past two years of income, Index Pence data. Can you predict the expense and income for the next two years? Okay. So let's give it the data. So I have already prepared the data. Uh, something similar to yours. So um, just to give you highlights, so this is just for 2021 and 2022. So M1, M2 stands for men's one, men's two, and so on. Just after 12 months. And the first row is income, and the second, uh, sorry, the first column is income, and the second column is expense. So yeah, and let's just add something here. Uh, show me the forecast for each month. Yeah. So it's going to extrapolate. It's going to extrapolate and it's going to show me. Okay. Um, it's actually, this is for programming. Okay, so actually the result that it gave me is not correct because I was um, using it for programming purpose, but let me just copy it and Okay, so it didn't give me Yeah, 
So this is the income for month one, month two, month three. So you just have to prompt it a bit uh, just to get a response that, that you want. So this is the projected one. So it's just uh, telling me that we can use linear regression or other types of regressions. These are, these are just models, types of models that we use uh, for forecasting in machine learning. So this is just a short demo of how we can use uh, LLMs. So here is just showing me uh, how, how we did it in the results. Yeah. So um, any questions? Okay, so must if maybe it can help in providing an analysis report. Um, it could help, but um, I think it's already mentioned on the document that uh, analysis uh, LLMs are not that good on. Uh, giving us an accurate analysis. So uh, like you can just um, have them for a starting point, but it's recommended uh, that you do the analysis for yourself, by yourself. So yeah, uh, I think it's better to use AI for the prediction and the projection or uh, the prediction and the writing. Yes, uh, Jala. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, first, you, it answer your question, so then I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I okay. think I okay. think I, I've got it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Go on. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you you ask it to give you for the next two years, but then that this table is showing 2023, not 2025 and 2026. Did it give you the correct data? Um, I not yeah, that. I gave it. I gave it uh, for twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. Oh, so it's going okay. to give me twenty twenty three and twenty four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any other questions, everyone? Questions. It can be related with the project. It doesn't have to be li lim limited for this one. Then. Um, okay. So uh, just a clarification on the, what's expected to be submitted today or tonight. Um, so you're gonna have three slides, one for each year. Uh, so you're gonna have, uh, each slide is going to have the financials for each years, right? So you're gonna have the income, the expense, and the net profit, and loss, and any, anything that you want to include. But for each year, each financial is going to have uh, one slide. And on another slide, on the fourth slide, you're gonna have a graph uh, that's showing the net profit for each month. So here you are not limited to have only one graph, but you have you you can have three graphs each year but they should have uh, they should have uh, they should be made for each month so, so if you choose to go with three months no oh, sorry with three graphs each graph for each year so the first graph is going to be uh, for each month you're gonna have uh, each month versus the net profit graph and but uh, you're, you're you're going to include uh, the three graphs on slide on one slide. You are li limited to four to one slide, and the last slide or the fifth slide is going to be on the errors that you found. So, just a recap: uh, uh, make sure that uh, you are uh, after you find the error, make sure to edit or to correct the error, and 
work on the edited uh, data. Don't work on the data that has the error in it. So am I clear, guys? Oh, uh, any questions on that? Okay, so you, you're gonna be uh, submitting five slides. Yes, Sosten. So it's, uh, I, there are two options in the second where you want the graph for profit and month. Profit by month and net profit. It can be for three years or for each year separately. But it is for, uh, it, it should be on one um slide yeah, yeah. Okay. okay okay uh yes you, you can't go mateki okay sorry i need clarity on the first submission you're saying for the financials you're supposed to submit uh, like we have to take the financials as the year and then convert them to PDF and submit. Or what exactly are we submitting in terms of the financials? Um, so in terms of the financials, you can just summarize them on a table. And yeah, uh, just, just have the financials, the main financials, and you can have a summary per, by month. And so uh, put that on a table and submit uh, just export the table to the slide okay thank you yeah so i think one slide for one table is enough uh, okay or you can show, show them by graphs or anything but make sure to include the financials i think it's better to have on a table or by writing like a bullet point okay thank you but uh, where well, i am not limiting you guys you, you can just use your imagination i'm just keep trying to give you some ideas on what to submit okay any other questions or is everything clear is if everything is clear, show me a thumbs up and we can wrap up the session. Okay, I can see two people. What about the rest? Um, okay, let me just stop the recording.